Hey guys, so today I am coming back at you with another astrology video. These have been highly requested on my channel. They don't get that many views, but I really do enjoy talking about these topics because I have a lot of opinions about a lot of different people of the Zodiac. And uh, there's actually a confession I have to make. I know I have offended a lot of Geminis here on my channel. I'm pretty sure a lot of Gemini subscribers have actually unsubscribed from my channel because I made a lot of terrible comments about Gemini's and for that I am not sorry fuck you I'm just kidding um, I think that it's actually pretty funny that I spent so much time talking shit about Gemini's on my channel and writing songs about why Gemini's suck but actually my current boyfriend is a Gemini. I can't even describe to you guys like my reaction. I remember the first night that I spent with him, it was like the night that I picked him up at the pizza place when I proposed to him at 4am and we ended up having a sleepover. Did not have sex. I know that's hard to believe, but you know what? Just try to try to believe me, okay? We woke up the next morning and Lexi called me and I was like, hey girl, I'm with the guy that we picked up at the pizza place at 4am. And she was like, oh cool, like what's his zodiac sign? And I was like, ooh, I haven't even asked. Oh my God, I hope it's something good. I bet it's something good because he's really nice. What's your zodiac sign? <laughs> he said, I don't know, I don't believe in any of that astrology shit and I was like when's your birthday and then he told me his birthday and then I told Lexi his birthday and then I was like you need to leave and that's the moment that I found out that the guy that I'm currently dating is a Gemini and <sighs> really hard sometimes I feel like who is this person I don't know is he gonna ruin my life but anyways so today's video is not going to be about Gemini's sorry it went off on a little bit of a tangent okay so today's video is going to be about a sign that I know quite a bit about and that is Aries and what a perfect time because it is currently Aries season so all of our Aries friends and family have been raising hell like they usually do so here's a little bit about Aries Aries season starts March 21st and ends April 19th it is ruled by Mars it is a cardinal sign and the element is fire, which is appropriate because they are literally the spawn of Satan. Just kidding. Some of their strengths are that they're courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate, and some of their weaknesses are that they are impatient, moody, short-tempered, impulsive, and aggressive. Sounds a lot like Satan if you ask me. Aries like comfortable clothing, taking on leadership roles, physical challenges, individual sports, and they dislike inactivity, delays, and work that does not use one's talents. Aries can sometimes be your worst living nightmare, but let me tell you this, guys. Aries are some of the most fun people to get drunk with. But also, if you end up spending too much time with an Aries person, you do run the risk of possibly getting murdered, going to jail, drunkenly crawling into the trunk of a truck that is just randomly parked on the side of the road. Why am I doing this? Oh, that's right, because I'm with an Aries man. Me and this person, we're just like explosive together. We'd be like hanging out, doing a million things, talking about 30 different things, going to get pizza, also drinking, going to nightclubs, going to rooftops, just doing absolutely crazy stuff. And I think one of the characteristics of Aries people is that they are so passionate. They really stir up your emotions. They make you feel alive. I felt so alive with this person, except for the morning after when I would feel really, really dead. And I I always felt like this Aries individual ran very, very hot or cold, and that is definitely a characteristic with Aries people. They are either super, super into you, all about you, want to spend every day with you, want to marry you, or they're just not gonna give a shit about you, which makes them really fun people to be around, and when you are in their spotlight, you feel like the most important person to that person, but it can also be kind of cold and sad and which I don't really know what that word means. Aries people are very, very brave. They think with their head, they lead with their head. They are very headstrong people and they are big personalities. Aries are extremely, extremely ambitious and though their love lives can be very tumultuous and complicated, their work life and their finances are usually really, really good. I think I read somewhere or heard somewhere that a lot of millionaires, a lot of the most successful people in the world are Aries. 
Aries. And I think it's because Aries are just like such innovators. They're extremely intelligent and very, very creative, which makes a lot of sense with the Aries man that I know because he actually owns his own company. And yeah, so I guess to end this video off, I don't really have anything terrible to say about Aries people because I don't really know too many of them. Maybe Aries people just move so fast through life that I just can't keep up. But I guess from my experience, I can say that Aries people are a lot of fun to be around, but probably Probably not a lot of fun to be in a relationship with. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're an Aries, what do you think? Do you agree with the things that I said? Or if you know an Aries and you think what I said was either truthful or complete bullshit, let me know. Make sure to click the thumbs up button if you like my astrology videos. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!